The Weave, obviously, the physical the gra damage. Grave as well. The graves. What about Sniper? Well, <laughs> <laughs> sniper could work, work but Link... Oh. Less likely to find those incredible casks. More flink can I just think Mach is dead. Mach should really be dead yeah, right he now. He's in a lot of trouble here. The smoke moving up by Fenrir and FY. He's got charge, but that's the reason why FY is holding with the telekinesis so he can drag Mach back. And the bash on the Howl. He does the damage, but not enough to get a kill. More fling will take it. They're still having a huge impact on the game. Just charging around. You've already got a level four spirit breaker. When's this going to start to affect the other lanes? Super with Light Striker Ray is the only thing that can stop the charge in. And in fact, uh, well, QO, they're moving up for him. Ice 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 has got both cogs as well as the uh, battery assault for QO. Try and break free. The Light Striker Ray not going to connect, but it does not matter. The Lean is still having enough damage, and QO dropping quickly. And Super with a haste, and he might go for more. Finds a stun over on Nuts, going deeper into the tree lines. And Nuts, the Paralyzed and Castor, and buys in space with the rocket and the attacks. Gives a double kill over to VG Super. And that ends up being a, a pretty costly misplay here from uh, from MVP, unfortunately for the five this early. It makes for a very explosive game when you have two uh, team fight off laners such as Clockwork and Spearbreaker. Or Mars in trouble again. He should rather. be dead right now. He try and turn for a charge through three of them, and that's exactly what he's going to do. Maybe the Shallow Grave will be up, and March just get away from VG Gaming, or else you will die. The Sonic Wave in comes KP. While the Spirit Breaker may die, it'll be a double return as the attack flies up and kills off FY. The Morphling just decided to TP himself back out to base. Got a good rotation in from the Queen of Pain, and finally MVP feeds get themselves off the mark. How just waited Dying too long? Top, I think they could have... Oh, he here comes your charge, coming out to Super QO. Just wants to dive in, he's got the Shadow Dance, Life Striker Ray's gonna miss here, and in comes KP with a big Sonic Wave. FY getting hit by it as well, and QO chasing up with the Shadow Dance, just stealing out that essence of Rubik, but then Fenrir buys a little bit of space, but he'll have the Dark Pact. FY gonna dive back behind the tower while the cops is marching, protected by the Shadow Grave, charging away. He's gonna get hooked, shut it down by Ice Ice Ice. There were still the two attacks from the tower that were chasing him, but Ice 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 caught on the wrong side of the river, KP still with blink on cooldown for another six seconds, but has that double damage rune. He wants to go back to the lane. Ice 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 revealing himself in the lane. QO can look for the pounce right now. Able to get down there, but no leash, but they still find the kill on Ice Ice Ice. Waste a bit of time, but a kill is a kill. Five, and March needs to charge away right now. Superstars with a slave. There's still got Frostbite, and that's why March does not want to charge, and there will be too much damage dealt to him before he can get away. So there's Ice 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 does have this hook shot available. He's waiting for KP to blink away so that he can just lock him in. The battery assault but he just goes directly for the hook shot. The blink barely in the nick of time. Gets out of the cogs and away from go for. But they also noticed too that the replicate was moving out. The smoke didn't break. That's why they know it's either a replicate or an illusion. And considering they picked up a haste room, they're going to know it's a replicate. But they're going to go deeper, as far deep in as they can. The lean is there, but there's no real reward. They've only just planted down a new one, so the only other choice they've got is to come in behind this T1 tower, where they'll find, in fact, both ZM as well as Rubik walking into MVP. Fenrir, real trouble. They actually commit the death ward. The charge started on FY. Heavy commitment from MVP. They must have thought there'll be more coming, oh, but QO wants to keep going. That. Back in behind the tower. In comes your charge. QO jumps in, gets that leech, and now FY being bashed yeah, around. Uh, two kills for MVP. They still got what they came for. The Slark pick is so good in this game because V just takes so much damage early on, but when you got QO that keeps charging around. Speaking of that, March gonna have a move up towards Hal. He does have waveform available. There's gonna be your first hit, strength warping up already. There's no more support coming here, and he'll make a replica so we can play the positional game. And March just needs to run himself out, but QO on the way here, gonna go for the dark pack. And uh, up on the back of Morphling. Remember, he's still going to get this charge, but unless he gets perma bash right now, he's not going to die. But there's your 17%. He's still got the replicate waveform up. Oh. And the jump away to safety. He had 12 one charges up his sleeve as well. How I. KP as well as Febby have arrived here. How still being charged. They keep that vision up. Cure is making the move. There's that replicate, but how do they have enough control again? No waveform this time. And there's a the 17% kicking in Fenrir. They're going to have some extra help. Ice, ice, ice. Hook shotting in. KP needs to blink himself away. Need more time. Shallow Grave. Witch Doctor. The Death Ward's going on. Ice, ice, ice. But the Blade Melt turned on. The Paralyzing Cast. Fenrir and Super. They're basically holding hands to the back lines. The Shallow Grave is there for nuts, but his chance of survival is so low. Turns on the Restoration. They're novering up. They see Febby with a Life Strike Array. Barely missing from Super, so Morphling will drop. And a three-man smoke move, they're gonna walk into QO. He blinks himself forward right now and being bursted down. There goes your Slark with a Sonic Wave steal of Rubik. FY, 
As we said, never underestimated, but now KP comes back for revenge for what was stolen. Febby can't move close enough to him, but March, he can. The charge comes forward, the cops get the back for now. Oh, Remember that weave is there, March being stunned, looking to play the Shadow Grave, keeping him alive, but now he goes for the ulti, but then the Yules up in the air. It's gonna be the Queen of Pain. March still alive for the moment around the tree line. They do bring him down, but KP in real trouble. Sonic Waves in one second, he needs more time. Blink away to safety. He's bottling up, already used the one charges. He could turn, he's got Sonic Wave plus screen of Marvel hiding inside the tree line for the moment, but he'll blink in deep. Charges coming down. We might actually see Crystal Maiden getting popped. QO just catching Fenrir out of position. He was moving up into his own jungle. That leash is holding him a little bit too much longer. And then Clockwork while QO breaks free of the double with instantly and with the Orchid on Ice Ice Ice. They don't want to throw out anything more apart from the death one. But QO can be back in the fight. Ice 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 almost down, but still alive until KP finally puts him in the grave. One for one trap but March looking for the Aldi and there's just Sonic Wave. He's still got Nether Strike, but Super with the strike. Right there is going to keep him now. In fact, the Lincoln Spear triggering, blocking it. It's a two for two trade off, and QO is still alive. Blinks away to safety. How not attacking? Come back in again. The Observer Ward's up, so they can see where VG is moving. In fact, How just walks straight into him. The Lincoln Spear trigger into the Orc, and he actually got to use the Shadow Strike to do it. And How dropping low, Life Strike already won't better connect. But How with so much strength, 2,000 life, they get rid of the Observer Ward. But QO back in again, playing with the supports in the back line while How realizes this. He has to turn around to help out his team. QO is still very low, but out of it. Healing up quickly with the bottle charges. Fenrir back already, but super. Telekinesis, not the greatest chain in the world, but they knew the Dark Pack deal. He's going to break free, pounce up into Ice Ice Ice. The bounce from March, actually knocking Ice 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 back. They're able to get the sounds up with the Sonic Wave, hitting three euros from VG. Now the Paralyzing Cask, it's going to actually trigger the Lincoln Sphere. But at the same time, Super and Fenrir, they can't run. It's back down to Hell, back up the Super. March, another charge, hitting into Hell. Might even push him up on top of the cliff side. He's inside the rock face. Hell bashed it. 77%! How oh, is that? Much! Breaking the game! KP's on MVP so much better. Now Slark might actually consider it after his Scotty just to be completely invincible. March, gonna try and charge away, but Yulsip is gonna stop this one and then wait for March is dead. Hilariously enough, FY is actually the worst ability you get in the game, which was the empowering haste at the start. Dyer's so we can move. need how to do something more and Ice 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 not to die. The charge is coming in, Life Strike Array will be there on QO, but the charge comes in and March, where does he want to go? That Nether Strike, he actually has it with a Sonic Wave, they find the kill on the Clockwork. March though, Lacuna played it down, there was no Shallow Grave to save him. Now how the front line, Nuts, he's going to be Shallow Grave into that Death Ward. How much damage? Not enough. The carcass is stolen by FY and messing with MVP's fight. We do have the Aegis more triggering, which means QO will be back to all the living and they look for the permanent stuns if they can get him. Pounce up and away, QO into the trees, regenerating 134 life a second. Ice, 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 no hook shot, and QO and KP, they just blink themselves and pounce away to safety. They bail out that VG. Fenero didn't have it skilled, he has it now, and he used it toward the end of the fight. He got the level up from the first kill. And Glimmer Cape Freezing Field could really be a problem for MVP. Do they have any detection on you? are actually jumping don't. in. They're going after Super, the charge there too. They're fully armored up. The weave was used before this fight, so it's going to be difficult to inflict any kind of damage. Ice, 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 at least cocking them in. But now your death one again being cancelled. The adaptive strike going to work, and Fenrir lets it go, but there's not many of MVP around to actually take the damage. Super, look at the blade. He actually brings down QO March. The job will be finished. It was the earned charge that was doing the work, and Fenrir trying to control up Spirit Breaker, but that's not a mad cow. Chased out. In fact, he's just running himself away, letting KP blink further away from VG Gaming. It's still a two for one trap. About to be a two two. That's more fling and the queen. So, uh, well, then again, maybe he should be fine. The S bit coming in for the Nether Strike, and how he had a replicate, needs more time, and then he jumps out. Going to survive oh. through this, and BKB from KP. FY causing more trouble. They are going to have a crack in the mid lane. Ice 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 turns around. He actually managed to avoid the leash, and then locks him inside the cogs. The charge is coming in, and miss that time. Ice 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 is going to TP himself out. They go for more VG. Bebby was in too close. Well, Shallow Grave and March, he's been picked up and tossed around. He was actually still charging Ice 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 back in base. He'll TP out in time. Bebby will not be so lucky. How's right behind him. Adapted strikes to kill him off. And VG Gaming, now two consecutive fights heavily going their way. And you do get the Lena Agadim Scepter now. That's what she. That's what she spent some the money on. I'm assuming the Warfling of Hal will go for uh, maybe either a Butterfly or a Mantis style next. And regardless of which item he chooses, he pushes so much faster than what you just saw.
can easily take a, a lane and a half in a minute. Charge coming in from MVP. Gonna actually go straight through Ice Ice Ice. Turns on the BKB. Runs past the entire of BG Gaming. Ice 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 being iced and the Orc is still on him. There's no extra damage until he comes on back. The Slark finds a kill. Fenrir dropping quickly as well. Gonna play Kuro. Has to leave himself away. He's in the side of the tree. Out of vision. But KB comes in. Coming up across the main and Kuro. Back in one second. It's Mars charging. He's got nine life. And he charges in for this one. FY might get the screen. But can't stop a super. Orc is up. His physical damage is more than enough right now. Sending you up in the air. They need a stun or something to stop Super. And the paralyzing cast can do it. Bouncing back and forth. In comes Marching in. The cast can now stop. But is there more damage? How? He is just too strong. 3.5k life. They cannot repel him. And this will be nuts dying in the tree line. KP's also on the run. The leader is chasing him down. Super needs more movement speed. And in the tree line, oh. Life Ranger just off target. They can't get the team wipe. GG. So a manly fight against both uh, the Slark as well as the Morphling won't really work, but then again, FY, the Edge of Bash going to work for QO into FY, and actually stole, oh, what is actually, actually into the game, he pounced, and FY four stops up, Ice Ice Ice, Heisling, and QO needs more help here, he can't pounce out, they control him too much! 70 seconds with no buyback, FY escaping the engagement. And they're looking for more. Febby's on the run from Hal. This could even be even bigger. If you lose your Dazzle as well as your Slark, they can just take mid racks. Febby on the run out of here. Evasion not going to help him. Back adapted strike. He does have TP up, but there's no way he's going to survive long enough to use it. That is two heroes down for MVP and VG Gaming. They're only because of my VG Gaming and not sticking around for Megas. The SB is charging in, but this is way too early. None of his team are alive. So March gets to his own secret shop. But the charge is not completed, obviously. Custom Maiden buying herself something nice. Now Solar Quest go with that Glimmer Cape. Fully accessorized CM. They just got so much gold on that. <laughs> yep. When but you actually, get to the lanes of look at that. 12,000 gold, 11,000 in the experience. It's all swinging the way of EG Gaming. An Aghanim set for FY. If he wasn't dangerous before, he's even more dangerous now. He's even still got a casually stolen Shallow Grave. They can make a big play with this, actually. I don't think MVP are aware at all. Oh, QO's in a really bad position, actually. There's your hook shot. They catch him out. Kick him up. Throw him down. Adapter strike for the Sun. QO! Again down for the count. And again, 70 seconds on the sideline. That's gotta be game. Gonna be pretty much at full, uh, full max when he arrives. So in comes March. He's charging up the Super. The stun from Super running too late in the BKP. KP jumps out too, but he got backed up from the stun up almost instantly. KP goes down. 80 seconds. And there's your buyback one. Nuts. Controlled by Ice Ice Ice. A death one. It just doesn't exist. Ice 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 will kill him in the tree line. KP comes down for the Sonic Wave. The Hawk Shot gonna miss. Can't get out. But again, now Rubik actually stole Sonic Wave. He's actually got the ulti to help burst down the Sonic. All he is one extra stun. You are going low. And by there she blows, and down he goes! Triple kill for Hao and GG! VG Gaming will take game one here against the Korean team MVP. And what a good start. It looked good for MVP. And then VG Gaming, the Morphly came online. The MVP, I think, felt like they had to make some really aggressive plays, which they definitely did, but they got a little bit overzealous on the fights outside the dire base, and VG Gaming are just too experienced of a team to uh, to get phased by that aggression. They played really solidly. They find the key pickoffs, and of course, solid.